Blog Talk Radio. and you're listening to Live Without Limits. Today's show is titled The Five Entrepreneurial Archetypes. That means what type of business owner are you? And here's the kicker. Being an entrepreneur, especially in these times, is the way that everything is going. All businesses are going to be moving online. The trends were there since the very beginning of the 20th century and truly at the end of the 21st century, excuse me, that the trends were there at the beginning of the 21st century, but the trends were there towards the end of the 20th century and the latter part of the 1990s because what made the difference was the Internet. But Why is this happening now and why is it so important? Because everything has changed now that we have this pandemic that is affecting the world, that we have moved in a century from being local businesses done on street corners to a global economy done on the Internet. Do you ever feel frustrated with where you are in your business and life? Like no matter how many tricks and hacks that you try, how many books that you read, or how many hours that you work, you're always behind. You know, you could be moving faster, but you just don't know how to do it. You're not alone. I know what it's like to be a struggling owner to be stuck on the entrepreneurial roller coaster, taking a huge step forward and five steps back. And after 20 plus years, a trial and error, working with thousands of coaching clients and investing millions of dollars in my personal and professional growth, I've learned that every entrepreneur fits one of fine main archetypes, each one with its own unique set of problems and solutions. And when you understand which archetype you are right now, you'll have a clear understanding of what type that you need to do to level up and put your business and your business in the fast lane. Now, the first archetype we're going to talk about is the dreamer. And and why are they called the dreamer? For one thing, you have a big vision. You're going to be a millionaire, write the bestseller, have a six-figure product launch, but you aren't taking action on that vision. Let me describe to you that I use the disc. And that's the D, I, S, and C. And under the D behavior pattern, we're talking about someone who has a dominant vision. And that means they they believe that they can dominate the environment. And in doing so, they can control everything that happens in life. But guess what? Also, that entails. That means that you have difficulty explaining how to set your vision from being a dream to being reality. Tell someone else. And that's where having a team of people can help you because you have the coach 
and you have the, the people that can keep you on track to do what it is that you say you need to do and to help you get clarity on how you want to proceed. When you look at your life, what have you actually done? What have you accomplished? Spend more time talking about the success that you're going to achieve someday than actually taking action to make it happen. When you're in the dreamer archetype, you're always struggling. You have plenty of great ideas and big plans, but you're stuck. You're spinning your wheels, making lots of motion, but failing to build momentum. You have clarity on where you want to go, but lack of discipline to make it happen. If this is you, don't worry. You have your work cut out for you. But every entrepreneur I have and know was, tra was trapped in this archetype. The best way to level up it from the dreamer is to be your undisciplined tendencies. And the formula is simple. Strategically eliminate your temptations to get a no holds barred accountability from someone that you don't want to disappoint. When you eliminate distractions, temptations, and obstacles like deleting Instagram or Facebook from your phone, giving away your TV, or at least unplugging it and putting it in the attic. Working at a coffee shop or a co-working space away from distractions at home. Moving your alarm clock across the bedroom. This way, you have to get up to turn it off, and it gets you out of bed so you don't hit the snooze button. Everything becomes easier because when you eliminate the distractions and temptations, your only option is to do the things that you know need to get done to succeed. It's like tracking out a new diet. You don't know any junk food in the house, then your only option is to eat healthy. And you need extra kick to spur you into action, eliminating, then enlist the help of a coach, a mentor, an accountability partner that you deeply do not want to disappoint and will ensure that you're consistently taking the right actions and making progress toward your biggest goals. Identify your two to three temptations or distractions that stop you from making progress toward your big business goals. Now, commit to eliminating those distractions today. Find someone in your network that you admire and respect and ask them to hold you accountable to a specific process-based outcome. That can be launching a website, building a new course, sending out 100 cold emails, and so on and so on. The idea here is that you have someone that will keep you on track if you can't do it for yourself. It's like going to a gym and using a trainer to keep you on track to follow through and do your exercises properly and actually do and keep track of how much you do exercise. If you need some extra motivation, put your money where your mouth is and write them a check for 15% of your monthly income and instruct them to send it to a charity that you despise if you don't hit your goal. I promise you'll beat your dreamer tendencies in no time. 
The second archetype is the horse warrior. And let me tell you a little bit about my life. Because what the lost warrior does is there's someone that does not have their goals in place or understand how to get there. That in my situation, I always knew what my goals were. But because I grew up with a disability, I didn't always have the support systems in place to make sure that I was doing what I needed to do. And when I first started my business, my goal was this, to set up therapeutic groups in group therapy because I was certified in transactional analysis. And I was certified in psychodrama. But I also was in a part of the country where those two forms of therapy were not as accepted, where I could go out and advertise on my own and going to the mental health centers because I didn't actually have the master's degree or the PhD. I was not going to be getting the right forms of referrals. But uh, for me to evolve into what my business is today, I also realized that for me, what I enjoyed most was when I was in school that I stood in front of the group and I gave book reports, that I was a good speaker. So it evolved into becoming a good speaker. But I went to Toastmasters, and I went to the local chapter of the National Speakers Association. I learned the skills, but I didn't have the money to put together the media kit. Therefore, as the Internet became more and more useful to me, that allowed me to be able to do exactly what I wanted to do and find my way into being equal in the eyes of everyone else, just simply because I was able to compete at that level. And this is what the lost warrior does. They don't know exactly which route to take, and that's when you truly need a mentor to help you find your way. When you're the lost warrior, you don't lack discipline. You're more disciplined and hardworking and ambitious than 90% of the population. But because you lack the clarity about how you want to go and how to get there, you fall prey to the bad habits and poor boundaries that can wreak havoc on your life. To escape from the lost warrior archetype, the solution is simple, but not easy. You must get objective outside eyes on your life, in business, and enlist the help of a mentor who has been there, done that, who can help you identify the opportunities and blind spots that you don't see. You must ask yourself, the hard questions about your business, your lifestyle, and then dig deeply to identify the things that you must stop doing so that you can focus on the biggest profit drivers in your business and increase your income out burning out. Because until you have a clear vision of your life and business, until you know what's important and what isn't, then you'll always struggle with the workaholism and overwhelm. If you aren't already working with a coach or mentor, find one today and reach out for help. It doesn't have to be me, but you do need someone in your corner who has the experience and wisdom to guide you to success. 
Entrepreneurial archetype number three, the business battler. If, now, I've got a client that we'll call Jimmy who owns an amazing company that uses artificial intelligent robots to clean oil tankers for big corporations, a solution that literally saves hundreds of lives each year. Now, Jimmy is a disciplined guy. He's got clarity in his business and where he wants to go. But when he first started working together, he lacked the structure and strategy to turn his big goals and dreams into reality. After we started working together, I gave him a few simple routines and practices to implement into his daily schedule and taught him a simple email strategy to find new clients within a few weeks. He generated an extra 120000 in his business, and in less than one month later, he grew that number to more than $300,000. If the answer, so if you have discipline and clarity and you lack a proven structure and strategy to go from where you are to where you want to be, then you're what I call a business battler. And you know what your destination is, but you don't, and you have the right vehicle, but you lack the roadmap that you need to take to success. If this sounds like you, then you're in luck because this is one of the easiest archetypes to fix. You don't need an accountability partner, but you do need discipline and a four-day silent meditation retreat to give you clarity. You just need the right tools, strategies, and systems to grow faster. And the fastest way to level up from the business battler is to upgrade your environment, to get direct exposure to the top entrepreneurs in your industry. Hire a coach, join a high-level mastermind, and invest in courses, books, online training to help you find the strategies that you need to scale up quickly. These are things that we don't always think about is the importance of training and online, ongoing training. The empire builder. Imagine that the greatest rulers in human history, the pharaohs of Egypt, the emperors of Rome, the kings and queens of Europe. Think about the monuments that they built, the cities that they created, the impact that they had on the still, which still continues to this day. Now let me ask you, do you think any of these rulers were out there doing the heavy lifting to build the pyramids, cathedrals, and castles for which you were known? Of course not. They are the empire builders, the men and women, with the clarity, discipline, and strategy that required to bring their vision to life and lead their people to success. And the same thing is true of the business empire builder. When you reach this level, you're no longer in the trenches doing the dirty work yourself. Look at it this way. You had a brick and mortar store and you were the business owner. You wouldn't be doing the everyday work you have a board of people helping you, or you have managers and a, a executive director or a executive manager, a head manager. Think of it. When you go to the grocery store or you go into a business, there's a manager with their lower level managers and the and each department has their own managers, and all of these people work together to make it all work and build it and put it all 
together. So when you think of all of those things and how you as the business builder can take it to that level, then that is another way for you to look for ways to build and grow your business on that ongoing level. For example, when my superstar client, Frank, came to me for help, he was a lost warrior making $15,000 a month, but working 15 hours a day to do it. I gave him the clarity and strategy that he needed to succeed, and he took massive action on the strategy immediately. He ruthlessly eliminated everything that's non-essential from his calendar. This is where you learn to delegate and not do everything yourself because when we first start a business, we tend to want to do and control everything. But once you've learned that you don't have to control everything, then you're more willing to let go. He hired a team of high performers to support him and focus all of his time and energy on the strategy of being a leader, identifying the big levers that he needed to pull to generate the results that he wanted. Within 90 days, he doubled his income. After six months, he doubled his income again. After a year, he generated more than $300,000 in one month and is now on track to break eight figures in his diet coaching business. And this is what I want for you, to become an empire builder. To become an empire builder, you must first level up through the first three entrepreneurial archetypes by getting clarity discipline, and a proven strategy for success. Once you have all these three things in place, it's time to aggressively eliminate, delegate, and automate everything so that you don't need to be doing and spending 90% of your working hours focused on the high-level strategies of your area of genius. This way, what you're actually doing is putting your time in, doing the things that you love to do and turning over the things that you don't enjoy doing. Archetype number five, the Titan. After building the empire for years, even decades, you're ready to graduate to the final entrepreneurial archetype, the Titan. Titans are entrepreneurs who no longer build empires, but expand them. People like Oprah, Steve Jobs, Richard Branson, who've already achieved success and understand the game of business such a high level that they can use their resources to buy back their time, to free them completely by putting the right people in the right positions. They are the owner of the empire. They have CEOs vice presidents, and a team of executives running the show while they reap the rewards of their hard work to level up from the empire builder to the titan requires only one thing, patience. And patience is what you need to learn how to do. This is the thing where people run out of because they don't sit back and let things work through because it takes time. It, people, so many times, the majority of the people want things right now. They expect to start at the top. when well, you can't start at the top. You have to work your way up. It requires years and years and decades and decades of continual effort as an empire builder, growing your team, creating bulletproof 
systems, establishing your brand in the marketplace. But with enough time and effort, it is possible. Trust the process. Surround yourself with the right people and become the titans of your industry. I'm curious, which entrepreneurial archetype do you identify with most? And more importantly, what action are you going to take in the next 24 hours to level up and achieve your goals? When you think of all the actions that you can do and how you as the individual can take it to the level that you truly want it to be, then plan for all of those things and take it on to the level that will help you to grow your business into what it should always have been and learn how to move from the dreamer to the warrior and then on to the battler. Once you have done that, then you can take it on to that next level and you can build that business and you can truly become that person that you believe in that can succeed and grow your business up to the level that you want it to be. Always remember that we have choices in our lives, but we have to make the right choices and getting the support systems, working with someone that can help you build your business and take it up to that level that can help you grow your business. And remember, being a lost warrior does not mean that you don't have to plan for. It just means that you have to work on. And being the empire builder, that's where you truly need to make sure that you have a team in place. These are often things that we forget about. And if you plan right and you work everything out into the best, form of business, and it doesn't matter what business you're in. People think about using shipping or using an affiliate program. An affiliate program, when you're first getting started out and you're the empire builder, it's a great source to find someone who's already had success in an industry that you're in and take their ideas and use it as a product to sell and earn that income that can put you to that level where you can take it from being the empire builder to the titan who actually owns a business. Remember, today it's not about having a big corporation. It's about being a global business, and that global business starts where you are right now. And you can go to my website, and that website is the number one, personalcareercoach.com. And you can sign up for both individual and group coaching where we can work with you on improving your skills, and we have assessment profiles that can help you to understand what your natural behavioral style is and how to adapt it and how to find people that can help you in your business to take it to the next level.